So I wanted to talk about this specific tweet I saw, and I feel like variations of this tweet have been circulating for a while. So this tweet says, celebrities are removing their injections and fake body parts because they've become too accessible. If you can get fillers to look like Kylie and work at Starbucks, what sets them apart now? We are definitely about to see a shift in beauty culture, mark my words. So I have a few thoughts. I think this starts with um, especially Kim K losing weight. Oh my god, she's removed her BBL. BBLs aren't in anymore because Kim K lost weight. And then more recently, Black China has been making all these posts. I think she has found God or something good, for, you know, good for her, or whatever she wants to do. Um, but she is removing the silicone that she previously got in her ass hips and got her fillers dissolved. Okay, so number one. So number one, okay, on one hand, you can't deny that obviously celebrities are going to influence what the general population is going to strive for. But also, why as an individual are you letting these celebrities dictate how you feel and what you do? You know, it's kind of like, I get it, but at the same time, like, think for yourself. Also, these specific examples that people are always using, you know, of Kim K, of Black China. oh my god, hoe culture is really over. I think there was something about Amber Rose you know, kind of like stepping back. You know, these women are in their mid 30s to 40s. You know, I feel like when they came up, they were in their 20s. You know, you're going to be out, you're in the clubs, you're making appearances, you're doing this and that. But then you mature, life goes on. I'm sure they're focused on being moms. You know, like people are using like the OGs as like examples, <laughs> which I don't even think these are like the OGs, but kind of, of like the social media era of like baddie, you know, Instagram models. So I don't really think that's a good point to make. I think that's just proof like your priorities change as you mature and life changes and you have kids and, you know, you're focused on other things. You're not like a rapper's girlfriend anymore, you know, you're like a mom and like you're you're busy. This whole thing of, oh, they've become too accessible, celebrities don't want to look like you. Just because the standard of beauty is maybe a little more natural now, you know, we're not seeing as many of these like huge crazy BBLs. You know, I think of the Kardashians in the 2010s. That doesn't mean they're not getting work done. And I feel like this is an effect of Gen Z and just social media changing and we want more authenticity. We want to see the posts of you with no makeup. You know, it's not like a 2016, you know, <laughs> fully baked face all the time, like high glam. Like we want to see your G-Wagons on IG and your close-up of like your five Cartier love bracelets, this flaunting of excessive wealth and just just that excessive aesthetic of like 2015, 2016, etc. those surrounding years. I think the trends have just changed since then. You know, think of like clean girl makeup, everything in like pop culture, mainstream culture is I feel like for the most part these days, just a little toned down from that and more natural. So it's kind of like what I was talking about before last year with the whole, oh, I don't care about what I post on Instagram anymore. Just because something appears more natural and organic, <laughs> What am I talking about, eggs? That doesn't mean that it's not still curated. You know, and in that podcast at the beginning of last year, I was talking about how, you know, certain influencers and celebrities are kind of going along with this aesthetic of like posting so carefree. Oh my God, it's just like an off guard pic of me instead of these super curated Instagram looks with like filters and just like over the top editing. But again, just because the aesthetic's different does not mean that it's not curated, planned, and that it, they're trying to achieve a certain look. So I feel like the same could be said for filler and plastic surgery and getting work done. Like just because they're doing it a little more naturally doesn't mean that, oh my God, yeah, no one gets work done anymore because regular people can get it. Like that is literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard, sorry. And I feel like that's also kind of dangerous, a dangerous way to think because if you think like, oh yeah, well nobody, that's not trendy anymore. Like the average Sally Joe down at Starbucks can get filler and look like Kylie. That means Kylie doesn't want to get filler anymore. You think celebrities are just going to look like normal people, like, <laughs> as in, like, not get any work done and just be completely natural, and, like, all the time, like, I'm just thinking, I have my natural body type, I removed everything. No, like, just because maybe they're not getting, like, the huge duck lips of 2015, 2016 doesn't mean they're not getting lip filler, they're just doing it differently, it's more minimalistic. And so, by thinking, like, oh, they're not getting work done because maybe they just look less extreme, it's like they're still getting work done. They're still curating these images just because the aesthetic is more natural doesn't mean it is natural. So I think that's important to keep in mind. And then the last part of this tweet, the we are definitely about to see a shift in beauty culture. I do think that's true and I do think that's already happened. Trends change and you know, if we even just, like I said, look at Instagram photos, it's a lot more regular and preferred now to post these like more natural off-guard pics, like 
maybe not a filter, not overly edited, and not these over edited, over filtered, like, again, just flaunting of excessive wealth and like perfectly posed. And so again, I do think it's already changed, but I definitely don't think celebrities are gonna stop getting work done because more people are getting work done. The work might be different, but it's not like there's no work and don't think that way because <laughs> it's gonna damage your brain. It's like, yeah, they, they don't edit their pics. It's like, if you believe that, like every time you see an unedited, an unedited pic of you, you're gonna like wanna throw up probably, you know? <laughs> Cause they're editing the pics and like you think they're not. And I've talked about this before too, but I feel like a lot of this is a result of the pandemic as well. And, you know, going into a recession and people just not wanting or being able to buy all of these excessive things and especially throughout the pandemic a lot of people were very fed up with you know celebrities pushing this over consumption and flaunting their wealth you know when people are literally dying when people are struggling when people lo are losing their jobs so of course the trends in fashion and beauty and everything are going to represent that as well and i just have to touch on this um this whole ozempic thing which if you don't know i believe it is diabetes medication it is being prescribed to lose weight and apparently there's horrible side effects people feel so nauseous and gross on it but it makes you lose a lot of weight and a lot of people were speculating that's what kim k did to lose all that weight for the marilyn monroe dress last year does not was that last year it does not seem like forever ago it's like who cares so a lot of people too i've seen are concerned that this really skinny aesthetic is going to come back and i know that's triggering for a lot of us because we grew up with that being the body ideal. I think of, you know, it's again, like that skinny white blonde aesthetic of like the early 2000s. That was like body goals, like Paris and Nicole, Girls Next Door, you know, Playboy, like <laughs> having huge boobs, but being like so, like so skinny. I'm hoping that doesn't make a return and I'm hoping that there's enough knowledge out there and people voicing, you know, people who have been through that, who are voicing why it is important to eat and there's just more information about mental health and again body neutrality and things like that so i'm hoping it doesn't get to that point but yeah i'm sure you guys saw the gwyneth paltrow little interview snippet they ask her what her wellness routine is and she's talking about what she eats in a day and she's like i like to do a nice intermittent fast i don't eat until lunch and then i'll have bone broth for lunch and then for dinner i'll have some veggies and a lot of people were coming for her looks i will say she does look very thin her hair looks thin and she just looks very aged which can happen in your face if you don't have a lot of fat who honestly looks up to Gwyneth Paltrow honestly like all I really see of her is like memes of her or like when like the classic meme of when she was like I would rather die than eat cheese out of a tin like that was kind of funny and I guess she smokes too so it's just like that's not really wellness I think you're just trying to be skinny and I think you have a problem probably but even just seeing all the people at least on my for you page and on my timeline talking about that and why it was harmful you know we didn't really see a lot of that in the early 2010s or early 2000s you know so i do think there's a lot more public knowledge and people are going to speak up when things like this are just like oh yeah like my wellness routine of not eating it's like that's not wellness instead of like somebody saying that and then everyone just accepting it and like oh my god yeah you're you look so good because you're so skinny you look like you're gonna fall over and break so anyway body neutrality is definitely the goal but it's definitely hard i think ultimately how you feel is the most important your health is bottom line the most important thing so if your body goals are like i want to have the hugest fake ass so i'm willing to get illegal silicone injections to do it that's not really putting your health first you're like i want to lose 10 pounds but i'm not going to eat for a week that's not putting your health first so i think it's okay to have goals but like to be healthy about them and to put the long term first so i would love to hear your thoughts on this i definitely see a lot of mixed opinions online you know on all different little like subcategories of this subject so definitely let me know what stuck out to you and what your thoughts are